Good day, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Daniel Umstead, host of the RNG Radio Show. And uh, today's guest uh, has a uniqueness to her um, in regards to her business. But I brought her on the show to talk to her all about it today. So without further ado, I'd love to bring on my guest, Tima, to talk about Cool Girl Section. Tima, how are you doing today? I'm good, thank you. How are you? Doing good, doing good. So uh, let's talk the world about this uh, unique salon, Cool Girl Section, if you will. Okay. Well, um, I predominantly do natural hair, um, but I could do, you know, all types of hair. But when I say natural, I mean, you know, the hair, the hair care, working on, you know, hair growth. So the all overall hair too, making sure that, you know, you're not just getting a style, but you're also, you know, leaving with your hair nourished. You know, I just started working on um, some of my hair products as well. Uh, things that I already use on my clients because most of the time I do um, locks. Um, so like, you know, you don't want it with locks, you don't want to use something that's going to cake it up or, you know, something that's too heavy. And I noticed buying things in the store, that's what I was running across. So I eventually started, you know, uh, mixing together a couple of little things like oils and, uh, you know, butters like coconut butter, shea butter, and, you know, came up with my own little stuff. So it's, it's working. Um, what else can I say? Um, that's about it. Okay. <laughs> now, how long have you actually been a uh, hairstylist for? Um, probably over 20 years um, I've been doing hair, uh, like professionally, I would say. Um, but I just got my license like about five years ago. So, awesome. you know, <laughs> yeah, and, yeah. And you actually do own your own salon, correct? I do. Okay. How long have you been uh, running the salon for? Um, I've been here almost three years. Great. Um, yeah, because I, I've um, prior to that I was working, you know, in another place. So, and I was there for a few years too. So, you know, it was just time to move on. <laughs> okay. Awesome. Awesome. Now, uh, one question I wanted to know because uh, it, it definitely does come up. Uh, what is uh, relevant to ask a uh, black woman hairstylist? Uh, to put, be able to push your own brand in such, you know, a male dominant world. You know, one wouldn't think because it's woman hairstyle, but for whatever reason, it's still being male dominant. So what do you think is actually relevant to ask a black woman hairstylist to be able to push out her own brand? Um, you, you have to believe in yourself. You gotta be consistent, you know, people need to know that you're available. Uh, you know, for the service that they're looking for, and you know that you believe in the products that you're using and that you're making. So, you know, I definitely believe you have to be, you know, on top of that. Um, and you know, a people person. You know, you got to definitely be able to communicate with people. Um, so, and I, you know, we um, women can do just as much as the men when it comes in this business. Even though, you know, like you said, it is. It does seem to be a a male dominant um, field when it comes to this, as far as you know, you have the barber shops and you know the barbers, things like that. So, yeah. <laughs> now, uh, with your salon and even just more knowing more about your products and such, uh, where can uh, folks uh, follow you on social media or even a website to get more information about you? Um, I have a Facebook page and it's um, Tima James. That's my Facebook page, so I could be found on Facebook. I can also be found on um, IG or Instagram. It's cool girl section, but it's K-O-O-L underscore girl underscore section underscore K-G-S. So I could be found on that. And, um, you know, I could be contacted, you know, DM or inbox and people can get my products from there because I usually post them. I don't have a web page yet. Um, I am working on that, but you know, I'll get to that point. <laughs> All right. Now, um, in addition to the webpage, as far as forcing in the future, what other things uh, can folks expect to see from Cool Girl Section, you know, uh, by this time next year? Well, I'm, I'm normally in here by myself. So, you know, you can expect to see, you know, other people working with me. Um, hopefully, you know, depending on what's going on with this whole COVID thing, you know, because you definitely have to make sure everybody, you know, can keep their social distance, you know, that, you know, that's important, 
not filling up the salon. Um, normally, it's like I said, it's me here by myself. So I just have a barber that just started with me. He's actually ready to come in now. Hey, how, how are you? Um, so, you know, I, um, I'm i happy to have him here, you know, so that's a good thing. And I'm looking for more people, you know, whether it be a barber or a stylist. So okay. I'm and, you know, me making more, you know, different, adding on to my products. I plan to do that as well. Because I look into things to see what's good for hair, you know, like maybe dry hair or to promote hair growth, stuff like that. So it takes a little bit more time. <laughs> okay. Now, as far as building up your team, you know, as far as expansion, because um, definitely without the uh, team uh, work, you know, it's pretty much just a solo project. Uh, specifically right now, who are you uh, looking for as far as joining your team right now? Um, definitely someone who you know, loves what they do, obviously, because if you don't love it, then it's nothing. Um, and that's going to be consistent, you know, you know, um, either has their own clientele or willing to build up their, you know, clientele. So, um, and understanding that, you know, right now I have a, a clientele base, thank God, <laughs> you know, I've been doing it for a while. So I predominantly work by appointments because I also have another job. So I'm, you know, going back and forth between two professions. Um, for now. So definitely somebody who's independent, you know, because I've had people in here and it's like, if I'm not here, they don't want to be here, you know, and that's okay. I get it. But, you know, um, you, you just have to be a go-getter, you know, in this profession, you really have to want to, uh, you know, do what you do and make money because that's also what we're in it for, uh, make people happy. Um, and that's pretty much it. Okay. All right. Now, um, with the uh, business and all, because I, I definitely uh, know that there's uh, going to be growth there as well. Um, and before we actually move to that, where can actually uh, your location, uh, that's what I wanted to get to, oh, where are you okay. actually located at? Because um, I know some folks may be in Los Angeles, California, like, oh, man, this is my opportunity and shot. But uh, uh, where are you located at so uh, folks can know where to acquire it um, in, in the area? 66 Springfield Road in Elizabeth, New Jersey. So, okay. Yeah. And that's up in uh, Orange County, correct? Like North Jersey? Uh, uh, Union County. Union um, County. It's not far from like Orange or East Orange. It's East, that's like up northwest from Elizabeth. But yeah, we're uh, like, like probably right next to Newark and um, maybe like some surrounding areas of Union and Linden. So the whole Union County area. But I'm grateful that I had... You know, I have people that come from different places, you know, they definitely support me. So Good. I wouldn't be able to do it without clients. <laughs> All right. Well, New York, uh, I, I need uh, the New York entrepreneurs, the one that just got out of the big top uh, hair salon schools. I need y'all to keep in touch with Tima and check her out on Instagram. Cool underscore. Actually, I know I'm going to say it wrong. Tima, could you just give us the social media one more time? Cool girl section. K-O-O-L underscore. G I R L underscore section underscore K G S. Awesome. Love that. Now, uh, one question I always like to ask people, uh, Tima, uh, while they're on the show is that for the other entrepreneurs that, you know, are struggling, just, you know, trying to get out there uh, with their business and brand, what advice would you give to somebody? Um, just never give up and actually you know, do it, <laughs> you know, because sometimes procrastination gets in the way or fear gets in the way. I know, you know, it has for me and, you know, continue, continuously does, but, you know, you push past it and just know that that's what you want to do and get it done, you know, so. Awesome, awesome. All right, cool. Well, uh, team, I don't want to hold too much of your time. I want to thank you so much uh, for coming on the RNG Radio Show. Uh, for the folks at home, check out the RNG Radio Show Monday through Friday at 7 a.m. on Facebook Live, or you can check out the replay on YouTube with such great interviews as these. Uh, team, before we go, can you give us that uh, Instagram handle one more time for us? Cool girl section. K-O-O-L underscore girl underscore section underscore kgs 
Awesome, awesome, Tina. And uh, a pleasure and honor for having you on the show. I love seeing uh, business owners, more importantly, black business owners, uh, come out and, uh, what you call it, uh, display the, uh, what they got going on. So, Tina, thank you again so much for being on the show. I really appreciate it. Thank you. I appreciate you. Was lit on the beat.